Well, we've got pine cones. We've also got a number of things that people might mistake for pine cones, like these. These are actually nodules, a mineral called hollandite, which in some areas of the opal fields are quite common. Every now and then you come across a monarchy that's just dotted with this sort of stuff, this sort of material. It's actually quite heavy. It weighs more than the potch does, or the opal. Uh, and these are little, what they call botryoidal formations, sort of like bunches of grapes, botryoidal. And hollandite is it's basically manganese, perhaps barium. I'm not quite sure what the exact composition of this is. Some of the opal prospectors say it's a very good indicator for opal in the area. It's also mistaken quite a bit for other objects such as pine cones here, which I'll talk about in a sec. The other point about the Hollandite nodules, these little things, is that at, at times opal miners find knobbies that are very much that shape, odd little botryoidal formations, but they're not Hollandite, it's in potch or knobbies and even with opal colour through it. And in those cases, those instances, you're sort of forced to wonder whether some, of the, some nobbies are replacements or pseudomorphs of hollandite nodules, whether in fact a hollandite, the hollandite mineral has been transformed into opal in some way. Of course, hollandite can also be in this form where it's filled up. This is septarian sort of structure where the mineral has actually replaced cracks within the claystone. But again, this too, you see. And some miners at times think that a Hollandite nodule is in fact a pine cone, but it isn't. This is a pine cone. And these are cones. And once you, once you see the regularity of the, the scales, the geometrical shape of the little scales, which are rhomboidal or diamond shaped very often, they're pretty distinctive. And Lightning Ridge has a fabulous selection and diversity of these sorts of things. And they come like this with the, with the scales close together there like that. Possibly green or unripe when they dropped into the sediment because they've been slightly compacted or compressed. At other times three-dimensional they haven't been under a lot of pressure underground and then sometimes the, the little scales are separate. The cone's been desiccated before it dropped into the sediment and this one here for example the scales on the cone are quite long and this is a dried cone and the scales are sitting in there on little stems that are attached to the main central stem of the cone and it's still filled with claystone in between. So they come in in a multitude of forms and it's just a matter of getting your eye in and learning what to look for. And in the end, even if you pick up a tiny little piece of a cone, you could recognise it if you've seen enough complete cones to make the mental comparison. They can be very, very beautiful. They used to be called potch roses. When I first came across these at the ridge, people said, oh, you found potch roses. That's not what they are. Not at all. And this is interesting, talking about pine cones, my goodness. This, this is a little piece of boulder opal from Miawa in Queensland. We've got one two, three, four little wheel-like structures with radiating segments coming from a central stem. They're cones or fruiting bodies of some sort that have been sectioned by breakage, all localised. And I guess with a bit of very, very clever preparation work, you could get to the outer surface of those just to see what was going on on the outside of the cone, what the surface texture of it was like. But that's a really extraordinary specimen. I think it's probably the only one ex in existence apart from the counterpart, apart from the other section, the other broken piece. And it's marvellous under a microscope. And then we've got things like this. It's not a muscle shell. It doesn't have the hinge, hinge structure of a muscle shell. It's the shapes kind of right for muscle, but if you look at it closely, that's not what's going on. It's a different shape, and it makes you wonder whether it's a seed of some sort. This is a modern-day cycad 
seed. And you've got to remember that all of the plants really that we're looking at here are gymnosperms. They're not flowering plants. They're pines and cycads, ferns, that sort of thing. Very primitive plants. This video was made with the support and participation of the Australian Opal Centre. If you visit Lightning Ridge, and you should visit Lightning Ridge, you should visit the Australian Opal Centre. You can follow the AOC on Facebook, the link is below, to keep up to date with news and events. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing to IDU on YouTube and following IDU on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Links are all down below. Thank you for watching.